Nice to see you, looking good as always. We're gonna do this Callaway style intro card type of animation. Let's go! In DaVinci Resolve, in a new timeline, add a fusion composition. Go into fusion, add a background node, connect it to the media out. Select the type and go down to four corner, top left corner, select this purple, and then let's pull it down a little bit, make it darker. And then the top right corner, select the same purple, leave it as that. Top left corner, same purple, and the bottom right corner, same purple, and just pull it down a little bit. Next, add in a rectangle node, connect it to the background node. You can either adjust the width and the height here, or you can go on the screen and just adjust it to the size that you want. Then we're gonna adjust the corner radius, put the level on 0.5. I'm just gonna disable the show view controls. And now we wanna duplicate this rectangle node. So selecting a rectangle, control C, control V on the keyboard, copy of this below that rectangle, uncheck the solid box and bring the level back up to one and put the soft edge on 0.003 and the border width on 0.003. Open your select tool, merge and add a merge node in. Add a background node connected to the merge node. Change the color to that same purple. Select the bottom rectangle, control C and click on the open space, control V and then connect that to that merge. Selecting the rectangle on frame zero, add a keyframe on position. Then we we'll go to the last frame, around about 120, selecting a rectangle, then we'll pull the position down to one. Below the background node, open the select tool, add soft glow. Spread out the gain, threshold, and the glow size. So move the player so that the polygon shows around the edges of the, the rectangle. And then we're gonna put a keyframe there. Then move it along around the other edge. And then we'll put another keyframe. And everything in between, pull them down a little bit. Then it's gonna go up and then go down here. Yes, so that looks good. Selecting the rectangle, selecting all the keyframes, space on your keyboard i'm just going to increase the height a little bit put it on 0.291 open the select tool add a merge node and connect your profile picture to that merge node add an ellipse node on top of that let's make it a little bit bigger selecting the merge node decrease the size and position it inside the card area so next add another merge node connect that on the same line and i went into canva and downloaded these png icon and then let's position that next to this Selecting the merge tool, decrease the blend. On top of that, let's add a rectangle node connected to that image. Increase the size a little bit and then increase the soft edge and the border width so we get a nice fade effect. Add another merge node, connect a text node to that merge node and type in your channel name. Choose your font, decrease the tracking a little bit. Under shading, under softness, put the X and the Y on 10. Increase the glow and decrease the blend a little bit. Bit. Add another merge, add the last, add the verified icon, position it next to that. We'll decrease the blend a little bit on that as well. Let's go back into our timeline. Go to titles, add a text plus on top of this, and you can add your number of your channel on there. 1,800 subs. Thank you very much for that. Decrease the size a little bit. Now under shading, we're going to do the same thing. Softness, put the X on 10 and the Y on 10, and then increase the glow and decrease the blend a little bit. Right click in the text box and select expression. In the description, there's a link for the code that you can use just to copy and paste this in your expression because it's a pretty long code. So I'm gonna do the same thing, highlight this code and copy, paste it inside this. Now the number disappears, but don't worry about that. We're gonna change that. So set up from zero, leave that on zero and then starting value two. Now you can put your number there, starting value value two, this is 1800, go to the right. And under prefix, we don't want anything written there. So we're gonna remove that. And then under post fix, we can add subs there. So I'll add the word subs. Now a zero appears, this text plus on your timeline. When you make it shorter or longer, that will determine how long the animation is gonna. So I'll make it short, then select the text plus on your timeline, holding alt and drag it to the left. And then we can drag this last one out. Go to the text box, right click and remove the expression. Now it goes back to 800 subs. Just put the word 
subs next to it. Select everything on the timeline, right click and open a new compound clip. Put on the safe area guides, move forward about 20 frames, add keyframes on the crop, increase the softness a little bit and then crop these ones out so that it's in the center and then the top and the bottom. We'll go to the first frame then and then add keyframes on there and then jump back to that frame and then put all of these on zero. I just did it the wrong way around but it's fine. Go to the zoom, put a keyframe on frame four, yeah, and then go back to zero and then just zoom out. This is one way to keyframe this animation. When your animation is done, it should look something like this. I appreciate all the support, all the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.